Here we are in the last week of training camp, and I finally get a chance to talk to number 88, Michael Irvin. And Michael, how has training camp go been going for you so far? I tell you, it's been going pretty good, Drew. It really have. I mean, I'm working wait, wait, hard. Wait, 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 wait. It just bothers me to see What's you in wrong? that in that number 88, man. Oh, get out that man. jersey. You Give me that to, jersey, I, man. Give me I that jersey. Get it off. Here. Get it off, man. I just can't stand to see this anymore. Give me my jersey. Give me my number. They don't even have your name on the back. Well, you look good anyway, Drew. And I tell you, I was sick of the pressure with the jersey brought. So you keep the jersey. I'm going to see if I can get my old 47 back from the University of Miami. And we'll play football like that. It looks better on me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now that we got this jersey situation settled, let's talk seriously about the wide receiver position. After being able to view the wide receiver prospects this past week here in Thousand Oaks, I was able to come up with Drew's views of the top five prospects. I believe because this group of wideouts are so deep, Coach Landry will keep five instead of the normal four. Look for Kelvin Edwards, Kelvin Martin, and veteran Mike Renfro to end up with backup roles. Things we've really been picking up for is, you know, concentration and running good routes and uh, getting in the open spot, you know, it's, it's, you know, doing the things that the coach wants me to do. I feel pretty good right now. I thought that um, the last couple of weeks I've been doing pretty good. Um, I'm catching on to the offense better this year than last year. I certainly realize there's, there's no guarantees in this business, and uh, there's a lot of young talent, probably the, the stiffest competition I've faced in my career. And it's really up to Coach Landry and what his philosophy and, and his future plans are at that position. And the two guys I see emerging as the starters are number one draft pick, Michael Irvin. I'm really adjusting to the offense. You know, even sometimes I have to sit back and think, and I say I'm thinking too much out there, and all. I just need to play football and let things happen. But um, I feel like I'm making that adjustment. And when I really feel real comfortable in offense, I think then my natural ability can really take over. And my surprise pick, Steve former Canadian there. League wide receiver, Ray Alexander. I don't want to put any pressure on you, but I'm going to predict that you're going to end up starting for this team uh, first game against Pittsburgh, September 4th, I believe. Well, I, I, I take that as an honor coming from you. I'm just hoping that I'll go out and do whatever it takes to help the ball club to be number one again. Coach Landry, once again, will have a tough decision to make when the injured Everett Gay returns to practice. With the Cowboys in Thousand Oaks, California, Drew Pearson, Channel 5 Sports.